Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game from Scratch. And today we're talking about Cascadour because a new beta version was just released of this. It is an open beta. You can just sign up and grab it and download this guy. There's no cost involved. It's free for early adopters. So go and check this one out. It's available for Windows and Linux for the Mac version coming soon. If you're interested in checking out Cascadour, it is available at cascadour.com. I, of course, have that in the linked article down below. Now, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail of what Cascadour is all about because I've actually covered this guy in the past. But basically, it is an animation tool traditional keyframe based animation but it gives you the ability to do quick easily modeling and rigging it's got physics based animation calculations and more to the point it's got AI tools to help you out so you sort of set it up as you want and it will adjust the timing and such to match uh, from its huge library of animations it's got in place already so once again I've done a video on Cascadeur showing it in action you want to see a little bit more about what it can do do be sure to check that out I will link that in the linked article as well and down below uh, but today we are talking about because of these new release features. So we've got new tools such as quick rigging, simplified ball ballistics editing menu, a new ballistic ghost option, improved uh, interval edit mode, notifications of a new version when you install it. By the way, that's only after you installed 2020.2. So if you've got 2020 installed, the initial beta I talked about last time, you do not get a notification. So you have to do an update. Plus we got various different bug fixes in place. All right, so let's go take a quick look at Cascadeur. Here you can see Cascadeur. Um, you got a 3D model in that bound in text, one of the examples that comes with it. And basically what you generally do with this guy is create animation. So one of the things that they've changed is the way that ballistics work. And you're going to see ballistic, he's going to follow a ballistic arc in this particular example. So just go ahead and run this. So there you go. And down it goes. So we got new ballistic tools for handling uh, how that path would work. So you can see some of the details in action. We can scrub down here. So as you can see the ballistic curve that it's following, uh, so we've got a new set of tools for handling and tweaking how those ballistics work. Uh, we can go ahead and make tweaks and changes to it as it goes over time and it will figure out the rest for us. At the same time, we can come in here. Let me just move over. Let's see. There we go. Zoom pan over here and we can grab a point at any time and sort of pull it into where we want it to go. And their AI system will actually try to figure out what you're doing and do the work for you, which is some really cool stuff going on here. Now, there's some real power in this particular release that's uh, really important in terms of right now you're using their built in objects. You're going to want to bring in your own content. Obviously, if you're going to be animating this for your own game engine or whatever, which, by the way, this supports, you can export out to your game engine of choice, but you're going to want to bring in your character and rig it. And that's what we're going to look at today. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up. Uh, so I'm going to import a new file. So let me just create a new scene like so. All right, so we've got a new scene going on and I'm going to import in an FBX uh, model. So I'm going to add a model to the selected and this is just a T-posed model coming from Mixamo. So here you can see it set up like so. And one of the big new features of this 2020.2 20 beta release is a new tool in place. Let's select our model. All right, so there we go. Here is our model right here. And we now have a new tool called the Quick Rigging Tool. So this guy has a bone structure in place, as you can see right here. And then um, Cascadeur has its own bone structure that it wants. So you see here, we want to have a definition for the left arm. And over here, we have eventually left arm. So all you have to do is basically match them up. You can do it to the point on the graph here as well. So you do arm and then you do forearm and so on. You can match up the hand to as much detail as you want to go into. And you basically just dragging and dropping to connect your rig to their rig. And then it's going to know what to do. So for example, I got the head, I drop the head into the head slot and we are good to go. Of course, I could have also dropped it up here. And then you're, you're basically just match your existing rig and your naming structure to their desired rig. And then you've got a character that is ready to be animated using Cascadeur. So it makes it a whole lot easier to bring in existing rigs. So that is one of the definite big new features in this particular release. So again, I'm not going to go into a ton of details about how this guy works and in terms of the animation tools in there, uh, because I covered them in this video, which I will link down below. So today we're going to look at a little bit more detail on those features. So first off, we've got the quick rigging tool. You saw that in action, basically bring in your rig, you map it from one to the other. You've got mirrored options to uh, mirror options down here to create it. So you only have to do one side and it'll figure out the rest by, you know, basically grabbing it by the offsets that were chosen there. But it makes it so you can quickly bring in your existing rig and map it into a way that Cascadeur knows and loves. And as you saw, it's a literal drag and drop over. So that is pretty nice. And you don't have to do everything. It'll figure out from the ones that you've got. There are some that are outright required. So as you can see here, you do not have to rig every joint in the skeleton, but certain joints are required. The joints are colored in blue. So if I still have this one open, I don't. 
quick rigging. So here you see the blue stuff, right arm, forearm, left arm, left forearm. Uh, those all need to be defined. And I think that's about it. It'll figure out the rest. You've also got ability to come down and map the hand very explicitly. And if so, if your rig has that amount of accuracy, which um, in the case of uh, Mixamo rigs, you actually do by default. So you got, you just basically come in and map. Now I'm on the right hand. All right, right hand. So right hand pinky and map that in. I don't know why I'm getting offset, but any you can you can connect it that way. So uh, pinky three, pinky three, and so on. So just map it over. You got hand mapping selections as well, but really only the blue ones need to be defined, and it can figure out the rest from there. The other new features here are interval interval edit modes. So you can see here. Uh, when this mode is selected, adjustments made to the object are applied to every position of these objects on the selected interval. For example, moving an object in one frame will move it in every other frame of the interval. So, you know, if you've got a sequence of things, you don't have to do all of the, the keyframes. You don't have to handle everything. You can actually do it um, one in the middle, and it'll grab all the intervals in and around it. And then finally, we have some trajectory tools. Um, controls have been changed. So uh, created and managed using a dedicated set of buttons on the timeline. Uh, we saw those available up here. So the buttons are available right there for uh, handling um, intervals when, you, when you're going across these guys right here. So you can handle them all that way. Definitely some nice new stuff in this particular release. So if you're interested in checking it out, once again, it's available at cascadour.com. And the biggest thing I can say about Cascadour, and I cover this in the other video on it where I show the animation tools in action, this is a tool that makes me a middling to poor animator uh, enjoy the animation process a whole lot more. You check that other video out, you will see what it can do in terms of animation. And in terms of this release, there is some definitely nice new stuff in here. The quick rigging tool is probably the biggest of all, because one of the challenges is been setting up your stuff to work in the Cascadour way. And Cascadour, this release, the 2020.2B release, made that rigging process super, super easy. They've also, again, simplified ballistics, um, and the, have the new interval mode in for, you know, making a change in a timeline of animation, having it update all the corresponding frames around it. So definitely nice new stuff here. And of course, we got some bug fixes as well. So that's Cascadour 2020.2 beta. And again, you can grab this guy right now uh, for free. Just head on over here. You're going to have to log in. I've already logged in. I used my uh, Gmail account, I believe. Uh, you can do Windows or Linux. And at some point in time, Mac is going to be coming soon. You're looking at about 150 megabyte download. Uh, if you are doing any animation at all, I would recommend checking out Cascadour because uh, maybe if you are really, really good at animation, you're not going to get anything out of this. But if you are kind of poor at it like I am, you will find once you've learned Cascadour, it, it will actually improve your workflow for sure so do check that out while it is still available for free uh, that is cascadour available at cascadour.com now available in 2020.2 b release really worth checking out all right that's it talk to you all later goodbye